Hi everyone, it's Maya from wholesomeyum.com and today I'm showing you how to make keto waffles with almond flour. One of the challenges of working with almond flour is that baked goods tend to turn out a little dense instead of airy or crispy. That's why I worked on this almond flour waffle recipe for a long time to get it just right. But don't worry, it's still super easy and I'll show you my tricks to make super crispy, airy keto waffles. You don't need very many ingredients to make this recipe, but you do need the right ingredients. The most important part is the almond flour. I use Wholesome Yum brand in all my baked goods because it has this really fine consistency, so it's gonna give you the best texture in your low-carb waffles. And we add just a little bit of sweetener, a little bit of Bestie. This is what I use in all my sweet recipes as well because it tastes just like sugar. That's exactly what we want. I'll link both down below for you. They are available on my website or on Amazon. But other than that, these keto waffles use super basic ingredients. You can get them at any grocery store. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to make them. Let's do this. We're going to start by separating one large egg. The easiest way to do this is to hold the egg over a large bowl and you're just gonna move the yolk back and forth between the two halves of the shell. The white is going to drop into the bowl and then you can set the yolk aside. And next, we're going to whip the egg white. This is going to be the key to super fluffy waffles because that egg white is going to introduce air so they're not going to be too dense. I prefer to use a whisk attachment because that introduces more air and helps the white whip faster. And you're going for stiff peaks just like this. You'll notice that if you flip the bowl over, it's not going to come out. That's how you know that your peaks are stiff enough. We're going to set that aside and next we're going to combine the dry ingredients. So we have half a cup of wholesome yum blanched almond flour and one and a half tablespoons of Bestie sweetener. You can adjust the sweetener to your liking. This amount creates mild sweetness, but not too much. And we're adding half a teaspoon of baking powder for lift and a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Go ahead and whisk that all together. The whisk helps get rid of any lumps, but you can stir instead if you like. The next couple of ingredients are going to help your almond flour waffles get super crispy. If you've worked with almond flour before, you know it doesn't get super crispy on its own. So what we're gonna do is mix two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of almond butter. The almond butter helps the waffles get crispy. And we're going to melt that all together. You can do it in the microwave or the stove and then whisk until smooth. And go ahead and pour that in with your dry ingredients. Now I'm going to thin out the batter with a quarter cup of unsweetened almond milk. You can use vanilla almond milk here if you like, but I'm also adding half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And if you wanna use a different type of milk, that will work just fine. And add the egg yolk in there as well. And then you can just mix it together with a spatula. At this point, I prefer spatula rather than a whisk since the batter is a little bit thicker here, but you can use the same whisk if you want to. Once your batter is nice and smooth, we're going to add the whipped egg whites. Now the key here is to add them very carefully and gently so that they don't break down. We want those air bubbles to be left in there. And use the spatula to fold the batter gently. Don't stir because that's going to break down the egg whites. Just keep folding until the batter is smooth, but it will be a little thicker than before. Time to cook my keto waffles. I'm using this large Belgian waffle maker, but any kind you have is totally fine. You're going to want to preheat it first for a few minutes, and then once it's nice and hot, you can grease it either with butter or I like to just use cooking spray. That's the fastest way to do it. And now you can add the batter. It's going to be about three quarter cup of batter for a large Belgian waffle maker like this, and it is thick and fluffy, so you're going to want to spread it around in there. Close the waffle maker, and if yours flips like mine, then go ahead and flip it over. And now you're gonna cook it for about three, four, five minutes. It depends on the waffle maker, but what you're watching for is for the steam to no longer be coming out. That's how you know the waffle is done. When you first open the waffle iron, these low carb waffles do tend to be a little soft, but they will crisp up as they cool. So just use a fork to gently lift them out. There you have it. Crispy Keto Waffles. That whipped egg white really helps make these nice and crispy and airy. Let's garnish this. Transfer this to a separate plate. And there's a few ways you can do this. You could serve it with butter. I like some berries, so that's what we're doing today. You never have too many berries, if you ask me. And a little bit of strawberry. I pre-sliced this here for a nice finish. You can also serve a few strawberries on the side if you like. And the last, very important step, wholesome yum keto maple syrup. 
I'm obsessed with this stuff. Even my kids think this is the real deal. Let me show you how thick this is and how well it pours on waffles and pancakes as well. I love this on pancakes. Okay, I'm ready to try this. That was amazing. Crispy, airy at the same time. You are going to love these. I hope you'll make these keto waffles soon. If you do, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I love hearing from you. And snap a photo, post it with hashtag wholesome yum so that I can see it too. See you next time on Wholesome Yum, where I share easy, healthy, and keto recipes, all with 10 ingredients or less.